welcome to the show, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. Um, well, Christian, congratulations. Thank you very much. One, Thank two, you. again. Um, I go back about an hour, a couple of hours ago, and I was asking you about fastest lap and, and all of the shenanigans yeah. that might play out. And you said, Rosanna, you're getting ahead of yourself. But here we are. There was a bit of shenanigans, wasn't there, about fastest lap. But your driver's super hungry for it. Just reflect on your evening for me, please. Well, look, I mean, a, a remarkable performance, team performance today. Um, after the disappointment of the drive shaft failure yesterday, you know, Max's recovery from 15th on the grid, Checo's victory, I think, was the best victory he's had in Formula One. That was one of his strongest drives, and he really seems to excel at these types of circuits. So, uh, you know, 43 points uh, or the, and the extra point for the fastest lap was, uh, uh, you know, a phenomenal recovery and great team performance. How do we move on now? Are you guys just going to canter off into the distance, or do you feel that there are teams now biting at your heels? Well, life is never that simple, and I'm sure that you know upgrades are going to be coming through thick and fast um, as we progress through the season. So I, I fully expect there to be uh, you know competition as we progress through the season. But uh, we've got a great car. The team have done an amazing job, and it's important we try and capitalise on that early on um, because we know that the development will come with the others later, you know, into the year. Absolutely, with that development race, and obviously you guys being a bit penalised. Are there any tracks that you're worrying about, or do you think you kind of got it covered? Uh, well, the next 21, um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's uh, you, you just got to go one race at a time. I mean, Melbourne, uh, Albert Park is another challenge. It's a different different service, different, different characteristics there, and, uh, uh, you know, it's not a race we haven't won since 2011, so, um, you know, it's going to be exciting to go back, but, uh, you know, hopefully we've got a good car this year. Well, congratulations, a formidable performance from all of you guys, and even with the little issue yesterday. Oh, thank you very much. We never I, doubted them. Do, do we ever doubt them? Is this, no, is this the worry now? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> was there any worry with Max's concerns over an issue later? Well, in well when the driver comes on the radio saying he can hear a really high-pitched whining noise at high speed, and, and you've had a drive shaft failure the day before, so suddenly your heart sinks. But you know, the engineers did a great job checking all the data. We couldn't see anything from our side, and. You know, at that point, it's just a question of getting on with it and hoping it it lasts to the finish. Does sure. that mean anything for Australia? Do you, do you um, worry? Of course, you're always learning. Um, and uh, you're always pushing the limits and the boundaries. And, you know, we need to learn from what happened happened yesterday. Lovely. Well, congratulations. Well, final to thing, I'm sure you've wished your mother... Um, do you know what you know, I nearly happy, said that to you on the grid? Happy Mother's Day on, uh, in the UK. But, uh, uh, I have. I sent yeah, her all, flowers. All the mums are very happy Mother's Day, uh, especially to my mother and, uh, and obviously wife, who is a great mum. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much, Christian. Uh, there we go. Mum, I'm on the telly.